Good evening, friends. <laughs> Bingo saying hello to. He's all excited because the story time tonight before bedtime has a story about a dog named Frank. <laughs> so he wants to hear all about it. So I really hope you've had a great day. I hope that things are going well as you enjoy these summer days. And I know it might be bedtime and it might still be light out. I remember well how hard it was to get to sleep sometimes when it was still light out. So I hope that you can enjoy our story time and get cozy and let yourself get sleepy. So Bingo's going to have a seat and hear all about Good Night Sam. Good Night Sam by Marie Louise Gay. I have been enjoying some of her stories lately very much. So there's Frank. Good Night Sam. The illustrations are really adorable. Stella, whispered Sam, are you sleeping? Yes, answered Stella, aren't you? No, said Sam, I can't sleep. Why, are you having a bad dream? No, answered Sam. I can't sleep without Fred. Fred is his doggy, not Frank. Miss Patty made a boo-boo. <laughs> it's Fred. Where is he, asked Stella. I don't know. Did you look under your bed? He's not there, said Sam. Fred sneezes when he's under the bed. Who's that? Maybe he's outside, said Stella. It's too dark outside, said Sam. Fred is afraid of the dark. Do you see Fred? Is he hiding? Fred. Look in the closet, said Stella. A monster lives in that closet, said Sam. Fred would never go in there. Go to sleep, Sam, yawned Stella. I can't sleep without Fred, said Sam. Fred. Why don't you try counting sheep? asked Stella. Sheep? What sheep? Well, first you close your eyes, said Stella, and imagine hundreds of sheep. Then you count them. I can only count to three, said Sam. I guess we'll have to go look for Fred, sighed Stella. I know he isn't downstairs, said Sam. Fred doesn't like those strange noises. That's only the clock ticking, said Sam. Come on. Maybe he's in the living room, said Stella. Behind the couch or under the big armchair. Fred never goes near that chair, said Sam. He thinks it looks like a giant toad. <laughs> it kind of does, doesn't it? Is he hiding? Do we see him anywhere? Look, 
cried Sam, a ghost. That's the moon, Sam. If Fred was here, said Sam, he would bark at the moon. Fred never barks, said Stella. Yes, he does, whispered Sam. Fred barks when he's afraid. I'm tired, Sam. We'll look for Fred tomorrow. Will we get up early, asked Sam. We'll get up with the birds, answered Stella. Birds, what birds? Come on, Sam, Stella sighed. Stella, cried Sam, I found Fred. Where? He was sleeping under my quilt, said Sam. Good, yawned Stella. Let's sleep too. Stella, whispered Sam. I still can't sleep. Why not? Fred is snoring too loudly, said Sam. Good night, Sam, sighed Stella. And there is Silly Fred, the end. It's kind of funny. If you share your room with a brother or sister, maybe you recognize some of those conversations too. Well, I wanted to tell you before I read the next story that for our summer reading program, we have some really fun prizes. And one of them is crazy birds, all different colors, crazy hair, funny. So I hope you come in to claim your prizes. What color do you think is night? That is our next story. What color is night by Grant Snyder? What color is night? It's pretty black, right? What color is night? Is it only black? What do you think? And white? When you look out at the moon? Look closer. Let's see what other colors we might see at night when it's up darker. The night is blue with black shapes and lines. And a big yellow moon beginning to rise. And when it's beginning to rise, it looks really big, doesn't it? The park aglow with gold fireflies. Do you ever catch fireflies in a jar to watch them glow and let them go? That's a fun nighttime thing to do with your family. The silver streak of a train rolling by. We have a train that goes by at night that I hear near my house at night. Fat brown moths dancing in yellow street lights. Moths are attracted to the light, aren't they? And they flutter all around it. The city lit up with neon red signs. Sometimes there are signs and lights that stay on all night long.
yellow headlights on a dark country road. We have that, don't we? Here in Front Royal, there's lots of country roads that are dark with only just another car going by. A nighttime visit, a green eyed glow. Have you ever seen any animals like that at night? Mama raccoon with her babies, hoping that your trash can has some special treasures. They'll eat almost anything. A still blue pond. The white moon twice. See, when you look in the water, you see the reflection, don't you? A thousand silver stars spilled across the sky. So many, more than you can count. One last orange window. Houses of black. The gray face of a clock. A midnight snack. Ooh, is that a midnight snack you would like? My kids' favorite when they were young. Lucky charms. And there in a sky of indigo. Indigo is another color for dark blue, right? Midnight blue, all the night's colors in one moonbow. I've never heard of that before. A moonbow instead of a rainbow. That's kind of cool, isn't it? So there's all kinds of colors. A clear window, a silver moonbeam. Somebody tucked in, ready to sleep. Pink and purple clouds. Sometimes we dream of things that are really pretty colors, huh? A night of good dreams. Off. She goes. And colors unseen. The end. All kinds of colors at night and different shades and shadows. Thank you so much for joining me for story time for good night, sweetheart. So I hope you have a lovely sleep and a happy day tomorrow. Good night.